Hello, I'm Leslie Powers. I'm the Pupil Personnel Services Director here at East Irondequoit, and I'm here today to talk to you about special education services as we go into this next school year. Hello, my name is Wendy Baker. I am the district CSE chairperson, and I'm here to begin a discussion on the elementary special education model. If students are in school learning, they will be in school every day. Students will receive special education programming and related services if recommended. Students will receive program accommodations and testing accommodations if recommended. IEP goals will be progress monitored and reported to families. Behavioral, social, emotional supports will continue to be provided. If students are in a remote learning model, students will learn from home. Students will receive their special education programming and related services if recommended. Students will receive program accommodations and testing accommodations. IEP goals will be progress monitored and reported. Behavioral, social, emotional supports will continue to be provided. For secondary special education students, if learning is occurring in school, students will, like their gen ed peers, utilize the simultaneous model, flipped model, or project-based learning model. They will receive special education programming utilizing a special education teacher. They will receive related services if recommended and behavioral, social, emotional supports will continue to be provided. If remote learning, students will also learn utilizing the simultaneous model, flipped model, or project-based learning model, as will their gen ed peers. Students will receive special education program utilizing a special education teacher remotely and will receive related services remotely. Behavioral, social, emotional supports will continue to be provided. Students with 504 plans, if we are in the in-school learning model, will follow grade level general education instructional plans. Students will receive related services if recommended. Students will receive recommended accommodations. If we are in a remote learning model, students will learn from home. Students will follow grade level general educational instructional plans. Students will receive related services if recommended and will receive recommended accommodations. Part 200 guidelines will continue to be followed. Referrals to CSE and CPSE will adhere to the Part 200 timelines. Preschool and school age evaluations will be provided in person or virtually when deemed appropriate by providers. CPSC and CSE meetings will be held virtually or by phone. The pupil personnel office will continue to coordinate and review reevaluation, requested review meetings, as well as amendments. Procedural information. When possible, students will remain in their cohorts when receiving related services or small group instruction. When working with students in small groups, clear dividers, clear face masks, social distancing, and other safety equipment will be utilized as appropriate. Therapy rooms and equipment, when utilized, will be sanitized regularly. Students who have been placed in outside placements by the CPSC or CSC will adhere to that program's instructional plan. These programs will communicate directly with families regarding these plans. More specific information will continue to be shared as we get closer to the start of the school year. Please continue to check the district website for more information.